right, basic, basic attacks. Train and staff, everybody knows that. Lock, that's basic. Okay, the first one we're going to look at, you got a shield in front of you. You got to try and draw a shield open. The easiest one, which a lot of you will know this, but this is basic 101 holding as a shield, is to come low and chop that shoulder. Very sure if I've seen that happen before. You got a shield in here? Yeah. Come in and chop. From here, down, chop. Downside of this move is come in. Go ahead and go for it. You gotta be ready for that. Make him bite on this. Which the way I usually do it is first thing I do is and then you know his leg now. If he blocks that, I know he's quick. One more time. Same thing. Go. This is more basic than that one. This one first. So the punch there. Take down and chop. The mechanics move is you're, you've got it here. Drop the back hand, bring the pole up, and then shoot the front hand forward for the attack. You're not chopping with the front hand. You're bringing the pole up and then just shooting forward, boom, with the front hand. The more you chop with it, the slower this is going to be, less effective. Okay, we got two shields, so this is going to be a uh, two and then two deal. Pass a couple times. We're going to get the next technique and then pass to the next person. Yeah, we don't have enough shields for everybody. There you go. Good. You're, you're, you're coming up and chopping and holding the back hand still. They can buy for that leg. He's like, okay, he's got 15 bucks. There you go. Why? Now don't tip him up and open. He opened his bag. He low to begin with and just rock up. Yeah, I haven't tried the other. That's there you go. Sorry for that. Five right there. Yeah. Well, there's a, uh, there's a store that sells these for like, I think, 12 bucks a piece. First up, I want to make him buy it. And uh, they only come in deep, but right there, except for this hole. It has a little bit of a... Sorry about that. It's a little flippier than I'm used to. And, uh, but, you know, like, uh, just step in chop. Uh, here, drop, yeah, drop the back hand, and his hand line. shoots forward. <laughs> like that. Yeah. So it's Ball here. Boom. Yeah, it's yeah, so, a... Who not to make so much curve. Uh, so you're making a circle around his shield, so you want to come right over the top. Good. Okay. Observations on this. What do you feel? Uh, have you noticed? I know clean. it's a big difference on using the back arm. It's cleaner. Mm -hmm. Like there's more control on it. And because uh, they're using the front hand to basically steady it, backhand, you know, uh, control where it's going. You'll, you'll find out the more you use, especially the more you use a heavier war pole, the only time that front hand does work is when it's throwing a hard shot. Other than that, it sits still and all the work is done with the backhand yeah. working on the, the fulcrum of the lever. I notice other, it's a lot easier with mine. Cause otherwise, you're just going to wear yourself, especially if you run pole with armor on, it's going to kill you if you're doing it wrong. Yeah. I'm, I don't know how Father Tom does that. He, he does it right. Yeah, I mean, he's got I, good I, control of pole seen, work. Um, and that's why he's not using energy. He's not just out there hammering with a pole. He's using good energy, good technique. And so he's not, he's working the pole. He's not letting the pole work him. Yeah. That's what you have to do, especially the behavior of the pole, the more that comes into play. A little light uh, pole like this, you can get away with some stupid stuff. That's why I like it. Yeah. But uh, you, you're not going to learn. Your, uh, the finer points of technique, if that's all you ever use, simply because it allows you to keep bad habits and get away with them on the field. Uh, the heavier the pole, the less bad habits you're gonna be able to get away with and still make it work for you. I'm not saying go out and get a heavy pole. If that's not your you know, style, you know, don't worry about that. I'm just saying that even if you got a light pole, pay attention yeah. to your technique. Okay, next thing we're gonna look at, that's just your basic, uh, uh, Pop over the shoulder. Come to me here. Next thing we're gonna look at is a slip stamp. Similar to what you're talking about, and it can go in just about any direction. We're gonna work basic slip stamp. Looks a lot like a slash. I'm sitting here working him over there. He's, he's leaning. Okay, I gotta watch this guy. A slip stamp is when you come in with a slash, let the tip pass, and it shoots down. So it's gonna look like this. I'm, I'm working him. You. Let's see that. Excuse me. I bring it in, 
Make sure the tip just passes the shield and shoot it in. That works good on shields. It works super on flooring heaters. That's, that's, that's bread and butter on how to take out, I and mean, that's basic flooring tear technique. You get some of the really good ones that know that move, you have to you know, docker it up some. But just for basic quarantine, they, they see this coming. I got this block, the slip the pommels and shoot in behind it. <coughs> it also works with hole. You got your pole lined up in front of me? I give you a good hard one for you to block. You're like, oh, here it comes. You got to block this. Like, you don't want me to smash you in the side. You got to block to the side. I barely clear your tip and shoot in. Works great. Just any, anytime you've got something right in front of you. A uh, tower shield where he doesn't have to move side to side, I wouldn't recommend this shot. But anytime where you've got enough of an open, especially if I can step to the side and he sees me angling for it, boom. I don't have to see his gut to know it's there. If I can clear the edge of his gut or the shield with my tip, there's a belly back there somewhere. So I can be stepping over to here and make the stab work just because I know I'm clearing the edge of a shield. You know, I can. Especially if, you know, if this is one of those deals where I'm, I'm mobile, I'm by myself, I'm the last guy in the ditch field, you know, I got a bunch of shieldmen looking at me, that's the type of move I'd be doing. I'd be coming in fast and make that, make that slip step. Just zip, boom. Seems like it'd be more difficult with a uh, like max premium ground. Not really. It seems like it would. Just here. It seems like it would, but as soon as you clear that edge, you know there's a hit back there. You don't have to see it. If you can clear the edge, now, I'm not saying hold it right in front of you. If you clear it over here, well, yeah. But if you're on the bottom edge of that shield, there's something back there. You can at least get leg. If you not. can at least get leg. And if you've got your body alignment proper, there's going to be leg that's not going to really allow him a uh, arm shot. Because it's going to kind of you know, hurt him. If you don't have your alignment proper, well, okay, you still got leg. You got to block the shot and get away from it. Yeah. Put to here and stick him in that hip. Yes, just like that. So you're saying the stab, you can slip stab either side, right? Yeah, you can slip stab either side. It, it works, especially like I said, if you got left hand forward, this side works better. But make that something he's got to really protect that sword arm from. Like make that slash something scared of. Give him a good one. Give him a good slash in the sword arm. There you go, slashing good. Now slip stab. There you go. Now step further out with the back leg so you can clear your shield. Step further with the back leg. Good. It was like three different forms bubbled together. There you go. That's the idea. That's the motion right there. Yeah. Like a little wind It's going to just clear. One thing I'm noticing with Larry, you know, she's she's reacting to this step, and if he was to reverse the slip slot and get her in the tail, yeah. he's still getting good form on it. Except for that, from three feet away from the shield. But we got it on tape, so it's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. The more you move your feet, the more angle you're going to get on this type of technique. I'm fighting the locker here. I came across, slipped just over, and then put this foot to here, which allowed me that shooting. No, it's two on two. This is still a fight. What are you doing? You just pulled off your team. Your foot. I, I can't see. Thank you for pulling that, by the way. I can't see where I'm hitting. <laughs> He's very but grateful know, you didn't follow through with that. I know where he is behind that shield. I don't have to see it. And that's where a lot of polling uh, make their mistake is they shoot only at targets they can see. I can, I'm looking at him. I can see a little bit of shoulder. If I spend all day shooting to that shoulder, I'm going to get eaten alive. But I know there's stuff in there I can't see. And I can make him move that stuff around. He sees me looking at that hip. So when I go for it, <laughs> a little bit of ass pokes out. I wasn't going to give you that either. Damn it! <laughs> that makes sense? Yeah. When you're doing these slip stabs, keep the tip close to the shield. The further you come out here, the longer it takes to get back. Keep them close to the shield. And just 